All right, weather time. Sam Mack is in Sydney this morning. I am. Good morning, Sam. Dremoyne Swimming Centre. We are showcasing the sport of water polo this morning. This is Tim, one of the Aussie coaching staff. Tim, um, what would you say to someone who's never played the sport before? What do they need to know? Uh, extremely fun game. Uh, play it with a great group of friends. Uh, physical game, um, but yeah, certainly a very enjoyable game to play. We've got obviously the men's team, the Sharks, the women's team, the Stingers. We've got some of their representatives here. We're going to have a bit of a trial game in a moment. Is there a friendly rivalry between the two Aussie teams? Yeah, there is. The, the the men's and the women's teams um, train against each other on occasions. Um, all always very competitive and always good fun games. Who's currently doing better? Uh, the women's team have enjoyed uh, a lot of success over a number of years, but uh, pleasing the men's team's had some great results in the last 12 months. So both teams leading into the Olympic Games, we're both pushing for medals. Fantastic, and games against Japan coming up as well. But in a moment, we're going to see them in action. We're going to start a trial game, but let's do your weather first. So we've got a bit of a trial game going on at the moment. Talk us through the action, Tim. Yeah, so this is a set attack, set defence situation. At the moment, the men's team are in attack, women's team in defence. There's two players in the middle are called the centre forward and centre back. Ooh, so often a lot of action comes from them. Is there a rule on how many times you can do the fake? Because that's one of the things you see a lot in the game where they've got the ball held up, but they, they go to pretend to throw it. Can you do, is there a rule on how many times you nah, can do it? Unlimited time in terms of how long you can fake the ball or what we call balking the ball. Yep. But each team has a, a set amount of time that they can only attack for being 30 seconds, like in basketball, a shot clock. Now, my background's mm. soccer, and normally in soccer, the goalkeepers are a little bit unhinged. Is it the same deal <laughs> in water polo? 100%. Yeah, there are a unique breed. So and, I'm going to throw my face in front of this ball that's travelling at 100 k's an hour. Yeah, some men's players shoot the ball up to you know, 85, wow. 90 kilometres an hour. So oh. there's a goal. Nice, yeah. right on cue. Well, thank you, Tim, for sharing it with us this morning. What a great sport, guys, and beautiful setting here as well in Dremoy. We're going to have more with them in about half an hour. Isn't it's it stunning a great morning? Ball. That is an extraordinary. Imagine having the core strength to tread oh. water, stand up in the water, and throw oh. the ball at that yeah. speed. <laughs> Is it the water polo, old Adelaide boy as well? Uh, it's quite common Absolutely. to be down the beach to cool off at night. Yeah, In I must have way. missed that growing up. Yeah, must have missed exactly. that growing up, Koshi. <laughs> but uh, look, you know, good luck to those who love a bit of seaweed action. Go for it, as long as you're happy. <laughs> uh, we are enjoying it this morning here. Dremoyne, how beautiful is Dremoyne, by the way? Iron Cove in the background, nice sunny uh, summer morning. We're out here with the water polo teams, the men's and the women's, the sharks and the stingers. We're going to have more of them very soon. We're going to get involved and showcase the sport of water polo, which is fantastic. Let's do a check of your weather. This morning. We are. Good morning, Sam, with Aidan Roach and Blake Edwards, two of our Aussie Sharks, Aussie representatives in water polo. That's the sport we're showing off today. Um, I've had a bit of a taste of it. I've been watching this morning the training sessions. I've obviously seen it on TV like a lot of us have. It is quite a ruthless sport. When you wanted to play as a youngster, did your parents realise how ruthless it was? I don't quite think they realised at the start, but Dad was quick to jump on it, and uh, ever since then he's absolutely loved it. So uh, they love it now. So they love how ruthless, how tough it is at times, but all good, good to watch. Yeah, your dad's obviously Blocker Roach, very famous um, sports star in his own right. Would he think that that's more of a harsh sport or water polo is more of a harsh sport? Oh, I don't know. There's a bit of debate sometimes at home, but uh, he says water polo, but I always say rugby league, but yeah. he's got to jump in sometimes with us in the backyard and uh, we'll see how it goes. I love it. Now let's talk about the Aussie team because you've got um, a few big tournaments coming up. What's the next one? A couple of games against Japan first, but then what's happening in Perth? Yeah, then in Perth in March, we had the World League preliminaries. Uh, teams will be there from um, America, Canada to try and uh, try and um, qualify for the World League Finals. Yeah. Um, talk us through your amazing designer gown. Is that is that one of the real motivations for getting into the sport, to hope that one day you'd get to wear such a stunning gown? Actually, we're pretty lucky. We've got Delfino who just do an absolute grouse job. So we're pretty lucky we've got the mad gown and he, and he does us up pretty well. Yeah, a mad gown, a grouse job. It's absolutely the Australian team we're chatting with right now. I love it. Guys, more with you in a moment, but let's do your weather. What are some of the most confronting injuries you've copped in the sport? I actually copped a poke in the eye, which paralysed my pupil. Oh yeah, my, on my God. right eye. Um, apart from that, just a couple of scratches. I've had a couple of nasty scars from yeah. some tussles in the water. But yeah. That's tough to beat, a poke in the eye. What have you copped? Uh, probably my worst has gotten out and, and uh, I was underwater for, for a fair bit of oh time, so that was a pretty nasty injury. I was in Disneyland for a bit afterwards, oh, wow. but all good. There's a lot of mums right now crossing water polo <laughs> off the sport, of potential sports their kids could play. Um, very soon, I'm going to get involved. Um, goalkeeping seems to just excite me. I've heard they're normally the people who are a bit unhinged. What would be one tip for goalkeeping? Oh, just try and save it above your head or, or at your head. Really? Like That's cover it. your face? Cover your face, cover yeah. your face. Okay, this is my moneymaker. I've got to cover the face. Thank you, gentlemen. We'll see you in there very soon. 
soon. We'll be back with more in half an hour. Okay. All right, Sam. Thank you. And Mac is in a lot cooler place today, learning about water polo. Oh. That's right. Good morning, Coffee. You probably won't be able to pick it, but I have easily immersed myself <laughs> into the men's Australian water polo team. <laughs> here we are, guys. We are ready to rock and roll. We've got the Sharks here and the ladies, the Stingers as well. Good morning. Uh, Don't know why, but for some reason, I'm the only one in the nerdy cap. Thanks a lot for your support. Uh, what we're going to do in a moment is... Um, pretty dangerous. I'm going to actually be goalkeeper and face some shots from the best players in Australia. So what we need to learn first of all is how fast can someone shoot a water polo ball? Oh, usually it's between about 70 and 90 k's an hour. That is ridiculous. Oh, yeah. That is. We won't be throwing it that quick today, don't worry, <laughs> but but we'll do our best. Yeah. What, what are you going to be throwing? Oh, mate, I'll be lucky to get over 60. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's talking it down. Um, what kind of um, hazards are there with being a goalkeeper? Like, what have you seen happen to goalkeepers in the past? Uh, getting hit in the face, you know, when your nose gets hit, you, you cry. So none of that today from you, please. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope not. Um, what would you give me in terms of pointers or tips for a new goalkeeper? Just keep your eyes on the ball and uh, probably duck if it's yeah. coming straight at you. Are there rules against squealing? No, no rules. I encourage you to squeal. I feel like that's worthwhile. <laughs> All right, is everyone ready to go? Absolutely. Yeah, I feel the ones who are saying the least are the ones I should be the most worried about. Uh, but we're ready to go, ready to have a crack? Yeah, ready to go. All right, Get straight ready. up you weather, guys. I will be facing six shots. My goal, my ambition is to save just one. Just have that one moment of glory. That's up you weather. Sunrise weather. Shower or two and 34 degrees. What, what's that? Oh, apparently he's in a rush, so I better give it back to him now, guys. Unfortunately, he's got to get going. So thanks so much for that today, mate. Really no appreciate worries. it. Thanks for Good to hang down. out with you guys. And, um, <laughs> have a great afternoon. Tomorrow we're going to be doing uh, African drumming. It's going to be great fun. African dancing, what? African drumming. But that's all yours, buddy. Have a great day. See you, Australia. Yeah, be careful Good in case all he, kick, all, he kicks sand in your face. <laughs> oh, I can't hear the team. I'm just going to get the cat now, can't you? Yeah.